welcome back children so today we'll go through the remaining part of heterotrophic nutrition first is saprophytes or saprophytic mode of nutrition now some organisms are there which feed on dead and decaying organisms so those organisms which feed on dead and decaying organisms they are called as saprophytes example are fungi bacteria etc now fungi are considered as non green plants so naturally if they are non green they cannot perform photosynthesis so they will have to depend on some other organisms for their food now fungi are of three types mold mushroom and yeast right now these fungi how it happens now whenever an organism die they settle on this organism <clears throat> then they have very fine hair like structure which grows on the surface of the dead organism these are called as hyphae remember and this hyphae forms a dense network of many 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 hyphae and then it is called as mycelium so after forming this it starts producing secreting a juice digestive juice which is able to digest the body of the the dead body of the organism after digestion it turns into a solution once this solution is formed outside the body then the fungi absorbs that food clear so digestion is external to the body digestion the food is not being digested within the body of the fungi digestion is done outside the body of the fungi at first digestion is done outside then the digested food is absorbed by the fungi so this is very important which you should remember in case of saprophytic mode of nutrition clear children so this is how saprophytes obtain their food at first they get settled on the dead body after getting settled they secrete digestive enzymes then the body gets digested it turns into solution form and then the solution is absorbed by the organism so such type of nutrition is called as saprophytic mode of nutrition and the organisms which perform or which show saprophytic mode of nutrition are called as saprophytes clear children the next part of heterotrophic mode of nutrition is symbiotic mode now an organism is there which is called as lichen this lichen is a combination of two or more organisms so primary there is an algae there is a fungi and sometimes there can also be some bacteria clear now they live together means algae and fungi they live together sometimes with bacteria as well so all of them live together and then it is called as lichen so once they start living together that whole body is considered as one and then that one is called as lichen 
Now, how does it happen? Algae are green in color. Means they are having chlorophyll, they can perform photosynthesis. Right? So, photosynthesis for, a, for a, performing photosynthesis, carbon dioxide and water both are required as raw material. Now, carbon dioxide is easily absorbed from the air. What about water? Now, algae cannot absorb that water from the soil. From, so, from where will it get water? That work is done by the fungi. The fungi is able to absorb the water and provide it to the algae. Then with the help of carbon dioxide and water, via the process of photosynthesis, algae can manufacture its food. Then after the food is manufactured, that food is shared by both algae and fungi. If there is bacteria, then the bacteria also gets that food. That means the process of making of food is done by efforts from all the members. So after the food is made, they are distributed amongst all the members. So there is a relationship between all the members which are living in this lichen. So this is called as symbiosis or mutualism. So remember, this is called as symbiosis or it is also called as mutualism. Clear? So this type of relationship is called as symbiotic relationship and this mode of nutrition is called as symbiotic mode of nutrition. Clear children? So remember in symbiosis the algae is green in color which is able to perform photosynthesis. For photosynthesis carbon dioxide and water both are required. Carbon dioxide is available to the algae from the air directly. Water cannot be absorbed by the algae from the soil. So for water the algae has to depend on fungi. Fungi absorbs water from the soil and supplies that water to the algae. Then with the help of carbon dioxide and water the algae is able to perform photosynthesis and helps in preparing food that is in the form of glucose. After the food is made it is distributed amongst both. So both acquires the food, both gets benefited mutually. So this mutual benefit is called as symbiosis and the mode of nutrition is called as symbiotic mode of nutrition. Okay children, so here we have finished this chapter of nutrition in plants. In our next class, I will give you the answers of objective questions that is choose the correct answer and true false. Till then, thank you.